Good day. This is one of a few videos we will make on circle geometry. You just type in circle geometry 1, circle geometry 2 and so on. And you can see if that's the specific stuff you're looking for. This video is a summary of all the theorems and axioms we use on circle geometry. And how to write statements and reasons. With some of the accepted abbreviations we use. It is our first theorem. There's a certain way you have to look at this. Always remember when you work in geometry, what you see on the sketch is your reason, and what you don't see is the statement that you must make. Here we have a line running from the center O perpendicular onto a chord AB. Your statement then will be AM is equal to MB, and your reason will be a line from center perpendicular to chord. This theorem now is a converse of the previous one, that's why I called it 1B. We have a circle and a line running from the center bisecting the chord. Your statement then will be TR is perpendicular to PQ. And your reason be, will be line from center to the midpoint of the chord, or you can say line from center bisecting the chord. Our next theorem we have is we have a line that is perpendicular through a chord and it breaks the chord into two equal pieces. Call it a perpendicular bisector. SSP is perpendicular to the chord and it bisects the chord. My statement then is PS passes through the center of the circle. Your reason is a mouthful. Perpendicular bisector of chord. Please stop the video and look at this again. These three are totally related. When you finish looking at this video, you will see that every number that I wrote, this is a 1, there's a 2, not this with the other stuff, some A's and B's and stuff, there will be a video how that theorem is proved. And it's necessary for the syllabus. All the ones that have numbers 1 to 7 needs to be proven by you. The next theorem, we have an angle coming from the center, O is the center, and B is the angle on the circumference. Our statement then will be, AOC, this angle over here, is 2 times ABC. Our reason will be angle at center is 2 times angle at circumference. In the next theorem, we have angles on the circumference. We have an angle here at B, there is one at C, one at D, and one at A. Our first statement is ABD, that dot you see there, is equal to ACD, that angle over there. The reason is angles in the same segment. They're lying in the red segment of the circle. There's also a white segment. And also, this angle A is equal to angle D. So this angle A is equal to that angle D. There are also angles in the same segment, the blue segment. There's a white segment up there again that we're not using. The next circle we have is we have a line NOP that runs is the diameter of the circle. And then on the circumference we have M. The statement will then be angle M is 90 degrees. Your reason will be angle in a semicircle or angle in a half circle. The next one, we have a circle, and in the circle we have two chords that are equal. We have angles opposite them, they are D and A. Your statement then will be angle A is equal to angle D, and your reason will be equal chords, equal angles. Please stop the video and look at these statements, theorems, and reasons, and try and understand them. Now for your theorems on cyclic quads. Here we have a quadrilateral drawn inside a circle called the cyclic quad. So I know angle A plus angle C equals 180. The angle there plus the angle there will be 180 degrees. And angle B plus angle D will equal to 180 degrees. The reason, opposite angles of a cyclic quad. The ABCD is not necessary, but I like to write it. Here we have another cyclic quad, but it has an exterior angle running out from EF. Your statement then will be HFG is equal to D. That red angle is equal to that red angle. The reason being exterior angles of a cyclic quad. Now we have three ways to prove whether a quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral. This angle A is indicated as equal to angle D and they are subtended by BC. So the statement is ABCD is a cyclic quad. Reason line subtends equal angles. So if a line is subtending two equal angles, it will form a 
a quadrilateral which will be cyclic. Next, if you have a quadrilateral, four-sided thing, that has one angle here and an angle there, and they, you can find out that they add up to 180 degrees. I took the one as 80 and the one as 100, but it could be any combination that adds up to 180. Then you write PQRS is a cyclic quad, and then you write converse opposite angles of a cyclic quad. The last way to prove that something is a cyclic quad is if you have a quadrilateral, which we have here, there's a straight line going out, that's an exterior angle, and that you can find out whether that angle and that angle is equal. And they told us so here. Then you write, MNOQ is a cyclic quad. The reason is, converse exterior angles of a cyclic quad. Please stop the video and look at the two facts and theorems on what a cyclic quad is and how to prove that something is a cyclic quad. Now we move outside the circle. What they told us here is that we have a tangent PQ and a radius OP. The statement then will be OPQ is equal to 90 degrees. OPQ and your reason will be tan perpendicular to radius. You could also write radius OP perpendicular to tan PQ. Now they're giving us a circle with tangent DBE chords BC and chords BA, and we connected AC. Then we know angle EBC is equal to angle A, our reason, tan chord theorem. Also, angle DBA is equal to angle C, the two blue angles, tan chord theorem. So you sometimes write tan DB, chord AB, that you can see what you're working with. But for both of them, we're going to rather write tan chord theorem. Now we're going to look at the two ways of proving that the line is a tangent. Yet they told us that PS is perpendicular to the radius MP. So they told us this is the radius, they tell me it's perpendicular. Then your statement will be PS is a tangent to the circle M. The reason converse tan perpendicular to radius. If you know that that angle is equal to that angle, you write DC is a tangent to circle ABC. And your reason, converse tan chord theorem. The last theorem, they're telling us tangents DA and FA is drawn. So there's my DA, there's my FA. The statement then will be AB is equal to CA. Reason, tans from same point. Be careful, people get Mixed up here, that's not DA and FA, it's from point to contact and from point to contact that they're equal. So remember, two tangents from the same exterior point to the same circle are equal. Please stop the video and look at these three theorems with the two ways of proving a line to be a tangent. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked this video and subscribe to the channel. If there is any problem that you have in geometry, you can send a WhatsApp, even a photo of your problem that you have, to this number. We will look at it, analyze it, and make a video for free and post it on the channel that other people can benefit from your question.